Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and this one is not for the faint of heart, but if you want it bad enough, I'll get you there. First off, you're going to need the European version of the game. You should rip it yourself. I can't help you get this file. Please don't ask, please don't beg. I will tell you nothing. I will ignore your comments. Okay, so off to the browser. We're gonna grab this McReady Echo ship of Harkoninian. Ooh, that's a word. And uh, we're gonna download the Linux slash Steam Deck version and we are going to save it to our downloads. Of course, make sure it has the zip extension preserved as usual. Now we're gonna go ahead and extract it here on the main folder, and you'll get a readme and an app image file. We can go ahead and try to clean up after ourselves as much as we can, keep things a little cleaner. All right, easy peasy. So now what we need to do is copy this over to our GameCube emu deck folder. Now, if you don't have emu deck and you've got Dolphin set up as a standalone, wherever you have your GameCube disc images, that's where you need to put this one. I personally recommend the emu deck solution. And once it is there, we should now be able to run our Dolphin emulator and it should recognize the game where we put it. Perfect. Now what we need to do is get to the file system. So we're gonna right click, select properties, which is at the top for some reason. And you have to click this little tiny arrow here all the way over to file system. This is why I said a mouse and keyboard is pretty much required. Open the TGC folder and you're looking for Zelda PAL 093003.tgc. This is not optional. You can't just pick one at random. You can't pick one off of another disc. It has to be this one or it's not going to work. Okay, no problem. Now we are ready to do the hard part. This is the ugly, nasty part. You're not gonna like this. Download WX Hex Editor, right? This is gonna be from the Discover Store. It's free, it's quick, it's easy, and then launch it. Boy, this gets ugly, but bear with me. Open up that PAL TGC file that you dumped into your downloads and we need a part of this file. So we're gonna click the arrow and we're going to make the cursor jump to a very specific location in the file. In this case, it's right here and it's also in the description. Make sure from beginning and hex are selected. Then hit go. It's now gonna put your little cursor right on this eight zero. That's the one you need to click and select start block. Now we're gonna to go to a destination location. Again, it's all in the description. I highly recommend cutting and pasting folks from beginning, hex, and go. Now you're gonna see an FF highlighted right here. Right click it and select end block. Perfect, now we got all this selected. Right click it and save as dump. That's gonna dump that set of data into a file. You can call it whatever you want, but it needs to end with .z64. And that's it, at least for this part of the equation and hopefully we did it right. So before we go ahead and try to extract the data that we need, we're gonna right click this and select properties. We need to make sure that it's executable or it's not gonna run. That's fine, we'll hit okay. Now I deleted the Zelda file prematurely. You might wanna leave it just in case your dump is bad. I deleted it. Now if you run, the SOH, you're gonna see this OTR generating. If this didn't work, you screwed up something in the hex editor. You're gonna to have to go back and dump it again. You probably got the wrong byte one side or the other. This happens. Okay, so now it actually runs the game, but we don't wanna actually configure it or do anything with it yet because we wanna put it somewhere permanent. You don't wanna leave it in your downloads, I assume. Now this can go pretty much anywhere. I'm just gonna create a folder off my home directory called SOH. Perfect. And then you need to copy two files over. You need to copy over the app image file and you need to copy over the OOT.OTR file. All of the other stuff there is stuff that was made on the first run. Um, so we don't really need to worry about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this to Steam because I'm assuming you're gonna run this in gaming mode. Uh, I would certainly recommend that. And we can hop over to Steam. 
And if we look inside of our installed locally, we may have to scroll for it. There is the SOH.app image. Let's rename that, that's silly. Uh, we're not gonna leave it named that. So we're gonna actually name it the name of the mod because if you name it this way, if you happen to use Decky Loader's Steam Grid DB, we're gonna show this off later, it's gonna match the artwork a lot better. All right, Harkanian it is. Okay, so now we could we can go ahead and delete all these files that you had left over. These are all things that were done on first run. Um, and when we run it again, it's going to use it the other folder anyway. All right, so back to gaming mode. Let's go ahead and check out our library, go to non-Steam, and there is the game. All right, the first thing you wanna do is probably add an F1 key somewhere. So I'm gonna turn on the back grip buttons and assign the right lower grip to F1. That's so you can make all your settings and changes. Okay, so if you happen to have the Steam Grid DB plugin, you'll now find that there's plenty of artwork available. Can't believe Nintendo hasn't pulled this down yet, but whatever. So I'll go ahead and just assign some images here before we test it out. Probably should test it out first, but I know it runs, so we're all good. And of course, when you do the icon, it's gonna beg you to restart, just say later. It'll show up later, that's fine. Okay, now we get. Now it looks like we got some game here, man. This looks great. So uh, yeah, I think it's time for us to go ahead and check it out. Now I've turned off all audio from this. I do not want any sort of naughty hits in here. So yeah, all the audio is turned off. Now we did map that F1 key. So now holding down the Steam button and using the trackpad, the right trackpad, we can go in and set our defaults to enhanced. We can um, go ahead and change our graphics to uh, 60 frames per second, whatever you wanna do. I mean, th listen, this is all on you, right? I, I, I don't have any control over this. So you do what you want to do to make it what you want it to be. And I'm not gonna play pretty much any of this because I, again, I am terrified of Nintendo doing something terrible to my video and my channel. So. I will just make sure that it actually comes up after I type in my name and we are going to call it a day. Great. Okay, well, uh, we are seeing the intro stuff, the intro text, the graphics should pop up here in just a second. Perfect. All right, hey, listen, I uh, hope this helped you out. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care, everybody. We'll see you then.